Today on our 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee, we're going to be doing a test fit of the Curb Premium 4, hanging style 4 bike rack, part number C18064. As you can see, we've already got a bike in place, so you can see what it's going to look like once you have it fully assembled and on the back of your Jeep. Now, let's start off by getting a few measurements. Our closest measurement is going to be this, from the T-handle here on the front to the back side of the bumper, at about 3 and 5 eighths inches. Overall distance that we've added to the vehicle will be from the rear of the bumper to the back side of the cradle arms at about 33 inches. And our ground clearance at about 12 and 5 eighths inches to the bottom side of the shank here. Next let's talk about how the bike is secured to our rack. You're going to have a lower hanging strap on every other side or as you can see here triangular cradles with two straps or one strap. This one strap is going to be your frame strap over the top and then with the two straps you'll have one over the top and one around your down tube and seat post side of your bike. The most important one is going to be that one on the down tube. It's going to be your anti-sway strap to help keep the bike from swaying from front to back as you're driving down the road and keep your bike firmly positioned up on your cradle arms. Next we'll, you'll have your two frame straps on the top to keep the bike from bouncing up and down while you drive down the road. So let's go ahead and undo our straps in reverse order of the way you put them on. Once you have your straps undone, go ahead and lift the bike off and stow it. Let's go ahead and reattach our straps, that way that you do not lose them. Once you have your straps refastened, we'll take a look here and I'm just going to point out something that's really unique about this bike rack is it has the two cradles up here and then the two shorter ones back here. The two back here are going to be more for your children's bikes, so it would be great for a family of four. All right. Next, let's move up here to the U-shaped clip and undo it. Pull out the pin and lower the cradle arms down into that stowed position. Once you have them in the stowed position, go ahead and replace that pin and the U-shaped clip. Let's go ahead and get our measurements of our closest and overall distance once again. Our closest is still going to be the same because this is not going to affect the back side. Our overall distance though has changed to the back side here of the shank at about 11 inches. Moving down to the bottom side, locate that thumb screw on the bottom side of the T-handle located here. Go ahead and unthread that and loosen it up. Remove the clip here and pull the pin. Lift up on the T-handle and drop it down into that tilt position. This will give you access without your bikes being on to the back end of your vehicle and the hatch. That way you can place anything in that you may have forgotten or get anything out. Once you've done so, go ahead and close it up and return the rack back to the upright position. Making sure that the T-pin is in its slot here. Replace the pin and the clip. Then thread back in that thumb screw on the back inside. Now note that this rack is only for two inch receivers and it will come with that two inch shank with an anti-rattle bolt securing it. Go ahead and remove that clip and notice that with that anti-rattle bolt secure you're going to have very little movement on the back side even with a good amount of jarring and movement on the back end side. It isn't going to move around a whole lot. But if we loosen that up using our three quarter inch socket just to wear it finger tight like so you're going to notice that it's going to be quite an uncomfortable ride for any of the occupants inside. Especially if you get four bikes on the back of that, it's going to be quite annoying. And not to mention you could damage your bikes or the back of your vehicle. So make sure that you always have your anti-rattle bolt secure and your clip in for a nice safe journey with your all new Kurt Premium 4 hanging style 4 bike rack, part number C18064 on our 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Let's see how it does on our test course. Here you see it out on our test course. First is the slalom, which shows the side-to-side -side action to simulate turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next are the alternating speed bumps, which show you the twisting action such as hitting a pothole, road debris, or going over a curb.
Finally, we will finish with the solid speed bumps, which show the up and down action to simulate a parking garage or coming out of a driveway.